All right, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about probably one of the slowest and most frustrating aspects of developing a high content website, especially when you are using AI to generate a lot of posts. And the issue is internal linking. Now we all know with SEO, one of the most important things giving the user a great experience is linking through your content to help drive the experience of people reading something, being able to click through relevant information and posts and so forth to improve their discovery through your website but also to get external links to valuable authoritative websites to back up the content that you're promoting as well. Now this is a relatively simple thing to do when you're actually just writing content and posting it as you go, but the problem is what happens when you're producing a lot of posts like we have here, for example. You guys know that if you've been following me on javafinder.com, this is an AI-based website where I am generating most of this content. I am adding a human touch to it, so I'm not putting out like a thousand posts at one time, but there is a lot of posts on here. This has only been up for a little bit. I've already got 81 published, 66 in draft, but we're gonna have to go back through here and actually do internal linking. So it's difficult to do because you have to go through every one of your posts and actually try to map out where you want the links to go, et cetera. So we're trying to find something that is faster. Now, there aren't a lot of options for this. Uh, WordPress plugins, one of the ones that I actually have found to work the best is a tool called Link Whisper. You may or may not have heard of this before. It's fairly popular in this area. And I wanna walk you through how you can use this tool to rapidly get your internal links taken care of. Now, before I go through this tool, again, I wanna say in the optimal perfect world scenario, you are just going to add your internal and external links into your content as you go and as you're posting it. So that's obviously the fastest way to do this. So, but this tool is more beneficial if you are going to try to change a lot of your internal links. There's some additional tools here you can use. If you're gonna change it, you're gonna change the text or the links that you've already established or set rules for auto posting uh, or auto linking certain text and so forth, or if you're posting a lot of content. So when we use this tool, it is a paid plugin. So I'll include a link to it below so you can take advantage of it and check it out. But I wanna walk you through how it actually works. So once we install it here, we have a couple of options. We have a dashboard and a lot of things you're gonna find pretty helpful here, but it does have a lot of uh, additional things that you can do with it that I'm not gonna go through in this video because this video would be very long. But number one, on our link stats, we get to see how many posts have actually been crawled. That way we may have to continue running link scans to get everything checked. It's gonna tell us how many total links are there. And in particular, what we care about is how many internal links have been established, but also the other key areas that we always wanna be on top of. How many 404 errors does the site have? How many broken links? Because we don't wanna have broken links on the site. And in particular, where most of us are gonna to have to do a lot of work is on orphaned posts. Orphaned posts are posts that do not have any links going into them. So they are orphans. And oftentimes with a lot of AI content, this is what we're going to have to correct. We're gonna to have to go in there and make sure that we have links going to all of our posts and get this thing down to as close to zero as possible. So over here inside of our links report, we have a lot of extra data that we can go through. We can go through each of the post names here. We get a, a listing of how many inbound internal links something has, outbound internal links, and of course, outbound external. So a couple of helpful reports, depending on how you like to look at things, and we can click down on this and it'll give us additional information on each of those, okay? We can go over domains and all of the domains that we're actually linking out to you can create attributes to these. For example, if we want them to open in a new tab or establish a nofollow uh, attribute to it, very, very helpful. And it'll tell us where those links are. So for example, on YouTube, there's 123 of those, but let's look at something like, for example, uh, Wikipedia. So there are three posts that are linking to that. And also over here, uh, it'll tell us how many links are actually going to there as well. So very useful data to see where your external links are pointing. In addition, we can go through clicks. This also is a pretty helpful tool if you wanna go through and see what people are clicking on. So throughout here, we can see how many link clicks each uh, individual post has been delivering through uh, text. 
So very, very helpful here to um, be able to gather information about where people are going throughout your site. There's also an error report here as well, broken URLs of things to take care of. So this is a massively useful tool, especially the bigger your site gets. The more posts you've got, the more this tool becomes invaluable. So I do want to walk through a couple of uh, additional features here, which I do like about this before we dive into actually correcting an internal link. Auto linking is extremely useful. And essentially what this does for you is if you want a certain keyword to always link to something or a page. And I'll give an example of this. If you in your uh, content structure have a page that is your money page, let's say for example, this page right here, the, the money page might be the health effects or health benefits, I should say, of coffee. So if that's the primary money page where I'm trying to drive all of the traffic to regarding health benefits of coffee, then it would make sense to go to the keyword health benefits or health benefits of coffee, whatever it is that you're going to uh, use as your anchor text, and to set up a rule that always links that text to this page. And we can auto uh, set that keyword, so that way it will always do that. And within that, as we select the criteria for this, there's a lot of things that we could get into trouble with if we don't understand. Like number one, how often should that link actually be uh, added? So if the words health benefits are included five times in an article, we don't want it to internally link five times. So we can actually add in here only link once per post. So that's super helpful. We can also uh, limit how many auto links are created. We can do select links before insertion. So there's a lot of awesome things in here that we can restrict categories and pages and so forth, okay? And we can also stop it from adding a link if the post already has the link. So these are some additional benefits you can have when you're doing this auto linking, but this is super helpful. Like for example, you can go through here, the name of certain types of coffee, like Arabica, and I have a page that is basically all about that. So I would have no problem auto-linking that every time to this page, okay? And then this would be a money page. We would have resources on where to buy it, et cetera. So I wanna drive traffic to that. So this is great with high volume linking, okay? So another thing you can do here is setting target keywords. Now your target keywords can be from multiple areas. I don't wanna dive into this too deeply, but for example, you can use custom keywords, you can use the page content keywords or pull your primary focus keyword from Rank Math if you're using Rank Math, or your GSC, your Google Search Console keywords, you can actually use this. Now, all this does is helps the process and helps the tool identify some of the most important keywords so it can help give you better suggestions on what to link to. So a lot of people uh, I find that are using this tool, some people don't like it and complain a lot that they don't like Link Whisper's recommendations for links, but a lot of times that's probably because they're not taking the time to go through and set this stuff up. So therefore it becomes a pain later and it starts to give a lot of irrelevant internal links. And that's just because they're not setting up where they want to target the keywords from and to go through some of the individual things in here. So as with anything else, the tool has a lot of options with it. And if you don't leverage those options or dive into the details, then you're probably not gonna get what you want of the tool. So it's obviously very important to go through all the tutorials here. You can also change URLs. Now this obviously is gonna be humongously helpful if you have a link that's broken that doesn't exist anymore, or let's say you have an affiliate link and you want to change it. Just imagine going through all of those posts and having to manually do that. That's a nightmare. So what you could do here is you could set the old URL in there and then put the new one in here. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna go all the way through all the, those links on the site and just change them for you. So obviously that is humongously helpful. So when you're gonna go through your internal links report, let's say we have those orphan posts and so forth in there. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to orphan post, and let's say right here, this page does not have any inbound internal links. What we could do is we could click down here, we've got nothing of course, right? So what I can do is I can click on add, and it's gonna take me to this page. 
Now, Link Whisperer is going to have some inbound suggestions. Okay, we can go through these different uh, categories here, show link suggestions in the same category as this post, or of course, the same tag. There's a couple of ways that you can sort this. You could also filter suggestions by keyword. So if there are certain things like, for example, the name of this is uh, best pour over beans, I can go through here and target uh, pour over beans to see if that list might be very long. And of course, when I filter the suggestions, we don't have any posts that have that, that in there, that suggestion. So when I get out of there, we scroll down here and we can see some of the recommendations are to use keyword or anchor text, like for example, coffee uh, beans and the mastery of the poor. I may or may not use that because that might not be optimal for uh, anchor text or the tent sentence. Now, rather than actually having to go inside of that post, I could literally edit the sentence from here. This is so awesome because from here, I can just change the text. I can actually go in here. I can change the link if that's not what I want. Um, and of course, I can remove that and then change the text here so I can make the anchor, lit, uh, anchor text conducive to what I want for this page. Then when you're done, uh, you can click save. Of course, I'm going to cancel that for now. But as you scroll down here, so these aren't bad. You know, I mean, it's starting to say beans to the perfect pour. Well, that's not exactly what we're looking for because we're looking for, um, in this case, pour, best pour over beans. Okay, so you can go through here. Of course, I didn't have a whole lot of options, um, but in here we can select, change the text that we want to make sure we have the right anchor text, note where it's coming from, because sometimes we don't want to be linking from certain pages, and then we add the links, and then we're pretty much good to go, and then that is all we need to do in order to add internal links to one of those pages from uh, the orphaned uh, listing here in the link stats. So then we could just go through here one by one and then knock all of those out and add those internal links. So that's how simple this is. You know, depending on how far into this you want to dive, there's a number of different options that you can have for setting this up for you. But uh, I wanted to help you solve a common problem that people are experiencing now with producing high volume AI content on how to get your internal links established. And you should see some, provided that you're doing all the other things correctly, see some nice uh, boost to your SEO um, and your rankings and so forth by making sure that your content is well put together and internal links and external links are established. So I hope that's helpful. Be sure to check out Link Whisper. I'll include the link below. This is the best option for this. If you have something else that you found and I don't know about it, be sure to comment below. And of course, as always, if you like these videos, click that thumbs up button, comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that anytime new videos come out, you get notified instantly. Thanks for watching.